Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I have a thumbnail tutorial for you guys for Pixlr. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking in my comment sections on all of my videos. You guys ask for Fortnite renders. You guys ask, how can I make a really good Fortnite thumbnail? And as well as that, you guys always ask me how you guys can make like cool text. And I'm gonna show you guys today how to do all of that in Pixlr so you guys don't have to like download Photoshop. As well as that, I also have a completely free small graphics pack for you guys as well in this video. So before we even get too far, to today's video if you guys go down there quick hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already and hit that like button as well it really helps me out a lot this is my first video back in a hot minute um, i actually took a little bit of a break because if you guys couldn't tell i'm in a brand new apartment i will be showing you guys of course like the complete setup and everything like that in a completely separate video but i do just want to give you guys a quick thanks for like allowing me to be able to like take a break also i did start uploading every other day call of duty warzone content actually over on my second channel i'll have a link in the top of the description if you guys want to go over there and check that out it would greatly greatly help me out. And before we get into the actual parts of the video, I just want to talk briefly about how important thumbnails actually are for a YouTube channel. I mentioned my second channel that I just started right away because I've been doing a video every other day on that channel. And I've been really trying to focus on having really good thumbnails. Thumbnails are 100% like one of the most important things when it comes to an early stage of a YouTube channel. So I will have chapters in this video because we're going to be talking about, like I said before, text and we're going to be talking about spacing. We're going to be talking about Fortnite rent if you guys are looking to specifically make Fortnite thumbnails. So go ahead and scrub through there if you guys are looking for something specific that you guys need help with. But first, let's go ahead and get into the first topic I want to talk about, and that is format. Now to go ahead and get started with your thumbnail, we're going to go ahead and get into our browser here. And all we need to do is go to Pixlr, which is a completely free software. If you guys are familiar with the channel and you guys have been around here before, you don't have to download anything. You just go to the website. Again, top link in my description if you guys don't want to type it into your browser. But what you guys can do is just click create new right here and we're going to click on this web 720p and basically it says it's 1280 by 720 which is the exact resolution that you guys need to make any thumbnail and you guys can name it whatever you want just name it fortnite thumbnail oh gosh i definitely butchered that thumbnail and then we're going to either check if we want a background or check not. I usually just leave it blank or I just have it as a white background. And we're going to click create. Now, this is exactly the size that you guys need for a YouTube thumbnail. You guys don't need any other size ever. The only other thing that I do sometimes is sometimes if I hop into Pixlr and I feel a little bit lazy, I'll click open image. And then I'll actually go to the um, folder that I did provide for you guys. And I did include there a thumbnail template. So if you guys want a background layer to just work off of, you guys can double click it and then it will just open it up. And then this is also a 1280 by 720 um, pixel document, as you guys can see here. Just make sure you guys double click that lock layer when you first open it up. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything with that background layer, unfortunately. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is backgrounds, because this is something that I always get comments on. You guys are constantly asking me, Ice, how do I get a good background for my Fortnite thumbnail? Well, it's actually actually really really easy I haven't gone over this yet but if you guys go to the Google Drive link in the description it will be on the very top I'll give you guys a free Fortnite thumbnail pack that I personally use um, I usually give you guys some free stuff anyway so just go ahead and just download everything from that pack if you guys want to and just kind of save it to a folder on your desktop it's what I do but I have a bunch of stuff in here for you guys and I actually have three backgrounds that I literally use for almost every single Fortnite thumbnail I really don't see the use in like using any other ones other than these they're very vibrant they're very simple so they don't take away from like the main subject of your thumbnail as you guys can see I included a lot of other things including arrows fire effects um, a font and then some renders and we'll get into a little bit of the other PNGs and how to use them in a little bit but as you guys can see I provided the three backgrounds so what you need to do is go back to Pixlr and you're going to layer and you're going to add image as layer and you're just going to add whatever background you want we're going to double click this one and then as you guys can see this one doesn't format it at all but all we need to do is get this corner and just drag it up to fit and then that's literally all we need. And then we're just gonna click out of that. Now the next thing is of course your render. Now this is a question I always get. Um, if I go to the plus arrow here and I go to my little bookmarks tab, um, you guys can see that I actually have like a render pack with literally a like thousand plus renders. I used to make these on Blender way back in the day, but it was just way, way too tedious. And now that there's literally like thousand plus like just free renders floating all over the internet, I usually find a random one that I feel like fits whatever theme I'm going for. And of course I will link this pack specifically in the Google Drive if you guys do want to, you know, check that out. And then also if you guys go back to the graphics pack I did provide for you guys, I did also give you guys two renders. So then again, all you guys need to do is go to layer, add image as layer, and just download whatever render that you guys do want. Um, then you guys can just double click it and as you guys can see it adds it right in and we can drag it down 
and kind of fit it, you know, kind of how I had it before. And another key thing is with renders is that you want the render to kind of only show like waist up, if not only like like top of the torso up and you definitely want it large i think a big mistake that i see a lot of people is not using their space properly on their thumbnails and having a render like either too small like something like down here which doesn't look right or just way too big like this which doesn't really look right either it really needs to be something in between in my opinion so something right about here kind of looks nice for me so to add the rest of the stuff to the thumbnail we're going to go to layer add image as layer and then in there i also have arrows if you guys want to use those then i also have a corner graphic so if i double click that you guys can see that it gives me this transparent corner graphic that I use in a lot of my thumbnails and we'll just take this and make this a bit smaller and you can either put it in the bottom bottom left if you guys don't want to format it at all or you guys can rotate it here get it right about there and then you guys can put it in the top left if you want that's a pretty self-explanatory object this is how it looks in the final version as you guys can see i have my logo over it which you guys can do for yourselves another thing on top of that is adding a lot of the background effects it's hard to see from like the youtube side of things but if you guys really look up closely i have a lot of kind of like background effects and stuff like that behind the characters to really add that like 3d dimension to a thumbnail and if you guys can tell like once you start looking at them you're going to notice that there's actually a lot more work that goes kind of into thumbnails than a lot of people just see from the outside but i did provide in that google drive a ton of those if you guys just want to go to layer add a jazz layer and just add them individually but i'm just going to skip ahead the only thing really left to kind of figure out is to have your main text on there so text is very very interesting what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to file new image and i'm just going to open another 1280 by 720 i usually just like doing my text in a separate like document because it's easier for me to work with so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text option right here and we're going to click wherever you want i'm going to go to add and say for example i want to type in um new fortnite i'm just gonna put new fortnite i don't really know but we're gonna make sure we go here and we go to the font and we go to um luckiest guy now to add a font to pixlr like the specific one that i have in this video because this is the one i do recommend just using for all fortnite thumbnails you're gonna go to the drop down arrow and you're gonna go to add local font and then again in that google drive with everything that you guys should have downloaded i did give you guys the luckiest guy font the exact one you just double click it and it says font was added and then automatically it should show on the top as you guys can see here it says luckiest guy font now all we need to do is i'm going to double click it i'm going to make this a white color now all we need to do now is go to layer add image as layer and i did also provide you guys this color palette right here so if we double click this color palette and we add it um, i'm gonna go to the move arrow i'm just gonna move it to the top right to kind of get it out of the way because we really don't need it right now but now that we have the text we're gonna take this and i'm gonna go back to the text tool to just adjust and drag the size up a little bit so we can get a better look at it i'm gonna drag it up a little bit now all we need to do here is click on here make sure we have it how we want it we're gonna hit this little three dots next to the text layer and we're gonna click duplicate layer and i'm actually going to take this duplicate or actually just just going to take the one underneath it and i'm going to take this one and i'm going to double click it and i'm going to go to the fill color and then i'm going to click on this temperature thing right here we're going to click on that and then we're going to click the gray color right here and I, as you guys can see it makes whatever layer i'm selected on that gray color um it made the top one gray for some reason so i'm just going to drag that underneath i'm going to go to the move tool and then I'm gonna hit the down arrow and just drag it down so it looks like it's underneath like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that top text layer, we're gonna click the three dots, we're gonna go to merge down, and now we basically just made it one singular layer. Now, we're gonna make sure we're clicked on that layer and we're gonna go to filter and then we're gonna go to outline. And we're gonna actually click on the color for the outline and we're gonna again, just click on this navy color um, that we have all the way on the right side of this color palette. We're gonna click that to make sure it's the exact color. And then we're gonna adjust the size down a little bit and boom as you guys can see we have our perfect text that you guys see in the thumbnails is literally how i do my text in photoshop as well now we're going to delete the color palette we're going to go to file we're going to go to save and i'm going to save it as a png so it is transparent you need to make sure it's a png and we're going to save it as text png i'm going to click download and then if we go back to our original document all we need to do is go to layer add image as layer and just find that recent text png that you just saved and then now as you guys can see um, if we go to edit free transform we have our text here that we can literally manipulate however we want now and it's super super nice now let's say theoretically after you guys have your thumbnail how you want it you guys have your corner thing in you guys have all the added effects and everything to kind of make it all blend in you guys want to go ahead and save it and add it to your youtube profile all you guys need to do here is go to file go to save 
click on jpg drag the quality all the way up to 100 percent and then just make sure to go down here double check that it's 1280 by 720 so it actually goes onto your youtube channel and then just name it whatever you want click download then usually i just click the the little arrow i click show in folder and i just like drag it to my desktop so i know where it is to get, like access it later and i think that's going to wrap up today's video if you guys have any questions at all or you feel like i missed something make sure to go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below i do read and answer all of them also let me know if you guys want to see me do a more specific thumbnail tutorial on like call of duty videos as i now do like call of duty videos on my other channel or if you guys want to see maybe see like valorant thumbnails or just anything like that i can pretty much do all of them again i appreciate you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.